The reopening of the Whitehall Bridge near Franz Josef has been delayed. Described as a lifeline for the district, the bridge was washed away in floodwaters two weeks ago. It was expected to reopen this Friday, but that's, that's now been delayed as contractors and engineers battle with rising river levels. Tourism West Coast Chief Executive Jim Little joins me now. Evening, Jim. What have you been told about why there's a hold-up? Well, the hold-up is that they've got all the spans of the bridge across, um, but they've got to get sort of underneath that to secure them to the um, uh, to the uprights. And um, at the moment, the water level's too high to do that safely. So they've got to wait until t- um, Saturday morning. So the whole thing should be up and running again by, you know, sometime on Saturday. And uh, then they have to put the also, while they're doing that, they need to put the wooden planks across the bridge. So we're just about there, and it's going to be a very short delay um, very short, and uh, you know, as I say, Saturday we we're looking at good. The weather forecasts are coming right, and um, yeah. So hopefully, no guarantees though, because it is dis- dependent, isn't it, on the water level lowering, and you've got bad w- weather coming in. Well, the, w- the wet weather is um, predicted to uh, or forecast to um, close down later tonight, which uh, gives us some um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday where the the Basically, what happens on the west coast is because we're used to high rainfall and big, you know, big water levels and everything like that. The rivers and the and everything else drain very, very quickly, and um, it's just the nature of the beast. And even the, uh, you know, some of the gutters and things around some of the small towns around the west coast, um, the gutters have been designed on the can, you know, on the Grand Canyon scale, mm. so that water gets out real quick. Assuming, and, um, yes, it will. Yeah, assuming things go to plan and it's open on the weekend, that must be a huge relief given that you're, you're kicking off the school holidays. Well, we've got the school holidays, we've got Easter, we've got Anzac weekend and all those types of things. So um, for all the operators up and down the coast, yes, it's going to be a, a massive relief. And we also have um, tour companies, you know, rescheduling their uh, tour coaches to come through. And so, uh, yeah, all going to plan and um, I'm pretty sure it will because we're talking to some very, very smart people, you know, within Fulton Hogan and NZTA and MedService and so on, and it's all looking pretty good. What's it cost local businesses, this bridge being out for a couple of weeks? Do you know every day how much do you lose from not having that bridge? Um, well, uh, we, we've, done a, we've done a few sort of what I call guesstimate calculations, and um, we believe it's costing the West Coast. I'm not just talking about um, glacier country. I'm talking about the whole of the West Coast because it's impacted on Puna Kaiki and everywhere. And we reckon it's costing between two and a half and three million dollars a day. That's some serious coin. Serious. So what if what if it doesn't go according to plan? Who will you be looking for then, Jim? Uh, well, basically we're pretty positive about this. So we're we're look, looking at going according to plan. Um, if it doesn't go according to plan, it might only be a, a question of six or eight hours, and we'll be back on track again. All right, Jim, fingers crossed. Jim Little from Tourism West Coast, Chief Chief Executive there. The Waihaw Bridge um, has been delayed, the completion. They're hoping it will reopen this weekend regardless.